Just where you pick up from, from behind? Yeah. They, they got a pretty good pinch, but not terrible. We just got to make sure there's no stone crabs. So far, so good, though. What's going on, everybody? Got my buddy Ace, his family out here today. We wanted to catch something for dinner, and it's really blowing out there, so we're staying inshore, we're catching some mud crabs, and uh, we're gonna go catch some of these big sheep's head that have moved in. And we just need to give them something that they like. Right now, this is the best bait. Did he get you? Ah, yeah. uh, it happens. If you just squeeze them in your hand, it doesn't give them the chance to, to get you. Ow! Except that one. Oh, they will make you bleed too. Oh, yeah, I Bad. I felt that one, but I didn't feel that one. Victim. <laughs> If you ain't bleeding, you ain't fishing, brother. So we got about, oh, 25, 30 crabs, and he's got about 45 spots that are bleeding. <laughs> oh, by the way, Ace, there's gloves right in there oh, good. underneath the steering wheel if you need them. It's like a blood bath. That's why I'm getting out. He's attracting the sharks. If we swim, stay away from me. <laughs> hey, underneath there, there's a net. Oh, yeah, that's a keeper. Nice one, Ace. Put them on ice. They gotta be 12 inches, guys. That's it's all we're looking for. You want me to measure now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll use this, though. Oh, all right. 15. 15, all right. Nope. He's a keeper. That's cute. What is it? Yeah. Well, it looks like a fish, only a lot smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mike. So, this is a mangrove snapper. Oh, this feels like a decent one, guys. You got the net, kiddo? Come here, Corey. Corey, get the net help Dad. We got him on this little 3K. He's not as big as I thought he was. Are you going to film with your camera? Good job. Got him! Nice work. Here we go, Netter. Yeah. 15. Looks like about the same. Twins. Twin brothers. Twinsies. <laughs> Do you see the teeth on this thing? Oh, yeah. What's up? <laughs> there she is. Oh, wow. Oh, the poor thing. She's still doing good. Missing the fin. So, what's it called? Doll. A doll. That's pretty funny. Not that it's missing a fin, but I know why they're here because this guy's catching fish, so they're waiting for him to release their snook. Oh, as a matter of fact, he's got one on right now. Let's catch one too. If you got him out of the poles, I'm thinking a big red fish. Uh, is it? It's a nice red fish. Oh my goodness. All right, take them over on this side of the boat. There you go. Just just play them nice and easy. Oh, the dolphin ray. Oh, it's the ray? All right, go ahead, put some heat to them. There you go, just like that. Get him, Ace. Go down, let them tire out. The dolphin. Get out of there, dolphin. Oh, oh no. <laughs> that was a good one. I hope the dolphin gets him. I think that dolphin swiped at him a couple times and. No. Oh, bad knot. Oh, Ace, who tied that? Oh, wait. I did. Shoot. Get him out of there, brother. Okay, I need that net again, guys. 
Did you see him yet? Oh, is he way over here? No. That's right a here. different fish. He's right here. Little 3K too. It's a battle on this little pole. Another big red. Nice fish. I think this one's just a little bit shorter than that last one, but it's a feels beautiful. It does it while you're on a much smaller rod here. It feels about the same. Oh my gosh! Open yeah. your bail. What do you think about that? Dude, we need a bigger net. Gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> Boom, baby! Yeah. Is that your biggest redfish? Redfish, yeah. That's a good one, buddy. Man, look at this, guys. Let's get him up here in the sun. Look at the colors. Perfect hook sets, brother. Well, we were just whining, or I was whining and complaining because I lost you that last one. And there you go. Next cast, you redeem yourself. Let me give him a drink and then we'll get a measurement. <laughs> 30 and a half. Alrighty. All right. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> what a beauty you nice. are. There you go, buddy. Yeah. Nice. Big spots. What a gorgeous fish. <laughs> hey, long arm him, man. So he looks to be 100 pounds. There you go. <laughs> He's still green. He gone. Well. Perfect. Dude. <laughs> Nice job, yeah. Nice wow, I was all mad we lost that other one and like totally redeemed himself on oh, the really? next cast. Bird sanctuary. So this is where these guys hang out. They spend their winters here. You said you've seen these over in Sandusky, Ohio, yeah, even, by even, Cedar Point? Yes, even at Cedar Point. I've been increasing in Northwest Ohio. Wow. Are they just passing through or do they stay there for a while? It's getting to the point where they might stay in the summer. Wow. It's hard to believe that they winter in Florida. They migrate all the way from like the west of the Rocky Mountains and stuff. Let's fillet one of these bad boys here. Like I said before, these have huge scales, so you gotta get up underneath them and have a sharp knife. It can be a little bit tricky. Go all the way to the rib cage. Now a lot of people just stop short and they go right around the ribs because they're pretty tough. Jamie, I I really think we should make those guys. They're all from New England. I think we should make. I know we just did the video. Um, see, there's the rib cage. There's where it gets tricky. The uh, New England lobster rolls. I just, I was so thoroughly impressed with that. We've already done the poor man's lobster, and then I got to thinking lobster rolls, man. And I'm telling you guys, you got to try it because it's a hit. It is a hit. And it's so easy. And you can do that with any white meat. Cod, you can get it from the store. This is my weak side here, babe. Over. Like that. Sometimes you can just cut right through. Yeah, get that belly meat. Grab it with our thumb here. Skin it. See that? We're not even gonna worry about that bloodline, but come all the way up into here.
just like that. So there's your boneless, skinless filet. Lobster rolls. Lobster rolls. Right. So we're gonna see what actual New Englanders think. All I right. thought it was awesome. All right. So it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is put 12 cups of water in there. So this is gonna take like a half an hour. <laughs> Basically a half a lemon, half a cup, sugar, quarter cup of salt. All right, now we're gonna turn this heat up and let that all dissolve. And once it starts boiling, we'll give it a stir and we're ready to go. That's what we're looking for. Nice little cube. We are going in with the fish. Bring it back to a boil, which will only take a second. And we're gonna set the timer for seven minutes. Dice this stuff up. Take it away. Let's see what we got here. Our puppy got old. <laughs> you grew up so fast, it was like a minute ago you were a puppy. This is Brady. Not named after Tom Brady, because they're Giants fans. <laughs> That's why our dog is named Tommy. Yeah. T for short. We're just gonna brush a little bit of butter on. Just like that. There. Oh yeah, baby. You're from Connecticut, so we want honest opinions here. No saying it's good if it isn't good. All right, this is my version of a New England lobster roll. Look at that. All right, Corey, get over here, buddy. This one's all you, then. Oh, wow. You're like, you're probably So most that one of, of that, so that Steve can try his own creation here. It's fabulous. I love it, though. Mm. <laughs> really? ah, sure. It's like a little rose on your shoe. Come here, T. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Very good. Do you see the resemblance? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't notice the difference. Isn't that amazing? It is. It even looks is he like, cleaning it up soon? Yeah. Yeah. It even looks like lobster on our foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. Breathe. Delicious. Must be really good. Look at Corey going for it. Is it good, Corey? Totally. A little loose, but. Yeah. So, overall. Thumbs up. Isn't Thumbs it crazy up. what great, that. Great, yeah. That concoction does make it taste like lobster meat. Definite keeper. But to me, I also put so ugly, it can look so good. It tastes so good. What? <laughs> Those fish are kind of, they're so ugly, they're cute. Anyways, guys, that's what we got. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to pound all this down, and uh, we're going to see you in the next one. We're out of here.